hello and uh, welcome everybody and today this is a video that we're going to share in continuation with the other video that we did on uh, the latest pattern of aims mcqs that they have said that they're going to ask uh, in the upcoming aims exams and uh, you know dr sumer has already described about the various forms of questions and here we just want to give you examples of all forms of questions so we will be coming up with short videos to explain each type of new pattern question that the aims people have said would be they would be asking in the upcoming aims exam right and uh, i'm going to describe what a multiple completion type question is going to be like uh, please understand that the terminologies might be different but they are asking you the same things uh, you know put up in a different package right so don't get worried about these terminologies this is a multiple completion type question right and for example you know this is the one example that we've framed for you so the question says raised serum levels of fsh are found in and you would be given four choices with the question and based on the choices you are given a key as well to answer right so the key would go like this you uh, option 1 says a b c are correct and option 2 says that if a and c are correct you mark option 2 option 3 will be if b and d are correct and option 4 is if all four are correct right so they are going to use this key and the question is going to be different right so the question here is raised serum level of fsh is found in so let's look at option a which says association with combined ocp use which is you know a uh, 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 sort of uh incorrect because with combined ocp use there is a feedback inhibition by the hormones and which in turn leads to suppression of the lh and fsh right so here the fsh levels are not going to be high so the option a is incorrect okay option b says post menopausal women so yes in the post menopausal women because the ovary is failing to function now it is not going to do the feedback inhibition that it is usually supposed to do so the fsh levels are going to be higher right so the fsh is high in post menopausal women because of absence of feedback inhibition whereas i said with ocp use the levels are low because of feedback inhibition right shehan syndrome let's look at option c now so option c says she hands where we know it is a uh, you know a pituitary infarction that's going to happen and it is typically seen in women who might have undergone massive postpartum hemorrhage right so the blood supply to the pituitary typically the anterior pituitary is not maintained and so all the hormones that are affect uh, you know that are produced by the anterior pituitary are going to be absent or low right so the fsh levels are going to be low in she hand syndrome and not going to be high so c is again incorrect right let's talk about turner syndrome turner is the most common cause of gonadal dysgenesis right and we all know that in turners there are going to be streak ovaries which means the ovaries are again not producing the hormones that they are normally supposed to produce and therefore the feedback inhibition is going to be absent right so the fsh levels are going to be high that is why we say turners as an example of hypergonadotropic hypogonadism so the fsh levels are going to be high so if you see in this particular mcq option b and d are correct because in post menopausal women and in turner syndrome the fsh levels are high so now that we have analyzed each option we know that b and d are correct let's go back to the key right and the key is if a b and c are correct which is not right option 2 is if a and c are correct which is also not right so let's look at option 3 which says if b and d are correct so that is what is the answer here so we will mark option number 3 yes because it says if b and d are correct mark option 3 right so that's how you're going to approach these mcqs right and this was a typical example of multiple completion type question right so uh, i hope you stay uh, logged in to see such videos of all forms of questions that have been described as new pattern in the aims prospectus and we will be giving you short video explanations to help you understand that you know you don't have to worry only the nomenclature of the question is different right and uh, everything else quite remains the same so which is if you know your theory content right you will be able to answer them but yes you should know what you are going to face in the real exam so you should have 
uh, you know, an exposure to on what these different questions are going to be like and how you're going to approach them. Right? All the very best. And um, I, as I said, we will be following up with uh, short videos and all types of these new pattern MCQs. Right? Best wishes from Team Dams.